Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Um, so I am on my way to the grocery store because I'm gonna get some stuff for like next week because we are going to Georgia and we're headed down there today and we're coming back Sunday. Um, and I think I'm gonna try to vlog it We'll see how that goes. Um, I have, I put a bunch of makeup on today. <laughs> My husband, he does not like it when I wear this much makeup, but you know, sometimes it's fun to wear, wear makeup. But yeah, I do think, I do feel like right now looking at myself that I probably definitely have way too much makeup on, but it's okay. Um, Anyway, I'm on my way to get some groceries, like I said, because um, the election is coming up, and I just have this, I'm just, just in case, I just have this sneaking suspicion that something fucked up is going to happen, um, so I am just going to, you know, I, obviously I'm not too concerned about it because I'm not, you know, prepping but I am gonna go to the grocery store and kind of somewhat stock up for like a week or two because um, I don't wanna even have to go out in this shit because uh, people are getting in like altercations at polling places and I'm just like, you know what? I don't wanna fuck with you people cause y'all are crazy right now and y'all don't know what y'all are doing and whew, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and run and do that. And, uh, I mean, it's not a lot, but I'm just getting, like, some stuff to, you know, uh, that is going to last. You know, like, I'm going to do ch chicken pot pie so I can go ahead and get some chicken and freeze it and, you know, that whole thing. So, um... I took a break this week pretty much from making a lot of videos um, I mean I, I did some earlier in the week but I um, kind of just backed off from it I, I have been doing research though so I am gonna um, and I I don't put those videos on my YouTube channel I put those videos on Instagram because I can I like to make videos that have music in them and right now the only way that I can do that is to um, make them a minute and 30 seconds long and put them on Instagram and so that's what I've been doing so if you want to follow me on Instagram my page is public you can you can go on there and watch the videos you don't have to follow me if you want to follow me I guess the, the videos will show up in your feed but my Instagram name or whatever you want to call it is JK which that has a lot of meanings behind it but JK not a lot but um, it's not just kidding JK Patriot and it's um, JK Patriot underscore 1217. Um, my birthday is December 17th. Um, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can, and you can see what I've been looking at and getting into. And, and um, a lot of it is just probably just propaganda. But I feel like it's important for people to see everything that is being presented to us, um, because that way you you're you can make it make your mind up for yourself what you think based on the facts. And um, you know I have been doing those videos for a little while, but I started doing them on YouTube back in like oh god I don't know it was like twenty. 18 maybe so I don't know when I started but I had I had 
started to get a lot of subscribers and then they started majorly majorly censoring so uh they ended up taking down my my main channel and then i had two backup channels and i for whatever reason um i ended up deleting the backup channel because um i had some personal stuff happen to me um around the last election and um I, I just, I was like, I was done. I was like, I'm just going to wash my hands of this shit because, like, it's not good for me. And it's really not. But, um, you know, I still feel, like, called to do it, I guess you would say. Like, um, because I feel like, personally, you know, as, as just normal people, I'm not part of any kind of secret anything or cabal or obviously I don't come from a lot of money I am a real person and um, if I can go on there and I can research for 30 minutes okay we'll just say 30 minutes max and find simple simple evidence that there's definitely corruption going on that they're they're openly voting against us um in our best interests um just as an example you know um the you know there for an example one thing i've researched was uh the richest families in america and you know the, the walton family they're very rich but if you think about that, I, I'm sure they have their own connections to stuff and they're up to no good probably, but because I mean, when you have that much money and unchecked power, you can do whatever you want to. So we don't know what they're doing, but um, I looked into them a little, but not much because if you think about it, he was just some random man that got rich, which that could totally not be the case. Like if we actually looked into him, we might find out that he came from the Masons too. I don't know, but, um, I'm going to start with, with obvious ones. And a really obvious one was the, um, Merck family. And that is spelled M E R C K. And they are a very rich group of individuals. They have hundreds of billions not just billions. Trump has a few billion. These people have hundreds. And they are the people who are making the cancer drugs. And they are getting filthy fucking rich every day off of all of us being sick. And that's disgusting. And they have, and they're just one. That's just one. And they have their slimy little fingers in everything, including politics, including Hollywood. Um, and so, and that's where Trump, you know, he's talked about it. He's like, you know, the, we're, I'm talking about these families and these companies that he's like, they're not famous and we're not going to talk about them because we're not going to make them famous. Well, I think we should. I think we should talk about it. I think people should be aware that Pfizer and Merck are partners, basically. And I screenshotted pictures to prove that. And so I'm gonna make a video about that. And there's so many things like that that I can make videos about. And people can watch it in a minute and 30 seconds with music. And then they can decide for themselves whether it's misinformation or not. Because you can't deny the facts and so maybe enough people will see the facts and put the connect the dots and be like well if they can do that maybe they are lying to us and if one person realizes that then I did my part so that's 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 um you know, that's all. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything wrong. But, you know, the deep state doesn't like it, so they're saying it's wrong. I'm just giving people the 
opportunity to know. And then if they don't want to hear it, then they can just not listen to it. You know, that's you have that choice. I gotta get all this makeup off. It looks ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, that's better. So that's what I've been up to. Um, I, so and I, but I, it doesn't take me long. Like, you know, I can remember things um, that I researched before, and then and now, you know, just a few years later, I'm like, oh, okay, because more information's coming out. And as it comes out, I can connect it all together. And I can tell you the best way to do that if you are kind of in the same situation as me or if you're just interested is Candace Owens. She's the black girl. She's freaking beautiful, by the way. Like, she's really beautiful. She's inside and out because she's going up against these people you know and i don't know what kind of like protection she has in place but i hope it's good because she's exposing all the truth and but the problem is is like you know they're trying to make it really hard for her like they she has she has a rumble and she has a youtube and youtube demonetize her so she can't make money uh on YouTube so she has to get advertisers so she gets money that way and I think she's talking about having her own network just like Tucker Carlson like she's talking about having her own you know platform so that she can talk about what she wants to and they can't you know take the video down which is crazy that we're but that's what we're up against but so if you are looking to you know and 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 she covers everything you know, it's not just political stuff. It's, there's other things too. Um, but somehow it all comes back to the same stuff. You know, it, it all circles back to the government and all these branches off of the government that have been created that Trump and Elon Musk want to get rid of. And I am perfectly fine with that because they don't need that stuff. What do they need? What are they doing? How is it helping us as we the people? Because we're the ones paying for that. So anyway, um, if you want to watch something that is not going to rot your brain, um, you know, it, it, can, it can be frustrating because once you start really listening to it and, and realizing that what they're doing, it's, it, it is very frustrating. Because you just want to be like, are you kidding me right now? Like, um, I just, it's, it's unreal. Like, so anyway, I'm, I'm getting off topic here. I digress, but I am, um, I'm excited about this weekend and I'm planning on vlogging it. Um, just because I think. I think it would be interesting to see how that goes because we are planning on doing that. And so if I'm going to vlog it, then uh, this would be a good way to see if I want to or not. Because it might be really annoying and I'm going to be like, uh, I don't want to do this. But I'm hoping not. Um, so we shall see. Because it's going to be really pretty. So I'll vlog it and then if it turns out to be good footage, then I will share it with you guys um and yeah so i'm on my way to the thrift store i'm i'm dropping off some clothes for that i can't they're winter clothes and i can't wear them anymore because i lost weight which is good um i had talked about before <clears throat> having to have some stuff checked because i had some weird numbers in my lab work at the doctor and it kind of involved my liver so I went to a doctor who specializes in that and um, she checked me out real good and I had my follow-up appointment with her yesterday which I already knew the results from all the testing I had done but I, you know I wanted to talk to her and she was um, 
happy because normally she doesn't get to give good news and um, it was good news that I don't have anything going on actually and um, they don't really have a reason for why those numbers were elevated other than it was you know it was when I was uh, a little weighed a little bit more so maybe that had something to do with it possibly but they don't really they didn't really tell me anything so I have no idea put it in park I have no idea but I am at the thrift store and I'm dropping this stuff off and then I'm gonna get groceries and so I guess I'm gonna end it here because that was all I wanted to say I just wanted to check in with you guys and say hey and um yeah, so I hope you all are doing well. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Go vote. <laughs>